Uh, greetings, Aquarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well, and let's dive right in and see what the message is for my Aquarius sun, moon, and rising today. And this is what we have today for our, that was too many cards. Well, let's see, and I hope you're doing wonderfully well, Aquarius. And uh, let's see what's on the horizon for you. A morning star. Well, you're the star in the tarot. So the morning star is rising. And look, you're following that river. You're following the streams to the ocean, to that source. And the number 33 is a master number, a sacred angel number. And that's the number of uh, coming together with others, a collaboration, of joining, of movement forward and change. And look at the symbolism that the stars is making. It's a square within the square. So squaring the square in some way. Morning star. I see something coming to you in the morning. Um, you will shine. Uh, something that is new, that's breaking, uh, breaking the dawn. And that could be resonating with you right now. And I invite my um, Aquarius to bring your own question, a concern, and curiosity to this reading so we can get a clear, precise, and accurate information. And you come out as a king of wands on your throne of fire. This could be involved with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're seeing yourself confident, taking leadership of this uh, intuition, some insights you've gotten, and it's very fiery, and it's stirring you up with a lot of um, sense of, I've got to go after this. <clears throat> this could be an energy coming in, and it's challenged by the Knight of Wands. Wow, well, there's a lot of fire as we start off this reading. And let's see um, what it is at the foundation. Uh, the Two of Cups, a partnership, a union coming in. At the foundation, you might not even see this new uh, uh, friendship, this new union, this new uh, passion. <clears throat> Something coming back from maybe the past, but it feels like a past life. Aquarius, like, um, I've known this person already. And uh, <clears throat> in the recent past, there has been an ending in some way, uh, some ending of an old way of thinking, an old way of believing in yourself, an old style of life. You're moving to a new um, rebirth in some way. We'll get clarity on these cards. And what is coming at the crown is a temperance. This rainbow is coming, and this healing, this balancing, uh, this alchemizing, becoming uh, something totally new, totally different using different aspects of yourself in a new way and it might require you to let go of some old way of being, some old personality, a structure that you're suddenly uh, moving out of. And this could be reconciliation with others, coming in with a judgment. Well, death and judgment, that's saying something is a major transformation and it's coming in with a lot of energy, Aquarius bright, uh, renewing, you're hearing um, the voice, you're hearing the trumpet, something saying, you've got to wake up to this, whatever is uh, in the recent past ended, died, was over, came to completion, a new phase of life that you had to change and alchemize, become different. And you're uh, seeing uh, this wake up call and you're having to take a new uh, vision of yourself uh, and go, go forward with that because you're the star. Well, you have the star twice. That's really emphasizing uh, this sense of something is shining, something's renewing, Aquarius. Um, and you're seeing this leadership position. You're seeing this intuition, something that's very entrepreneurial and it's going to come from a healing. It's going to come from tr alchemy, from so making, uh, taking whatever you consider the lead uh, in your life, the depression, the things that were heavy, the disappointments, um, 
that metal, um, I mean, maybe armoring defenses, uh, but you're changing and healing and shining after some difficulty. And you're waking up from the dead as you um, see the environment is carrying a heavy burden. Someone you're dealing with or just the environment itself is a big responsibility, is an obligation right now. Someone's been carrying something maybe for 10 years about the environment, about the people around you. And the hope and fear is to make a choice. Uh, you've got all these options. You might have too many choices. Some could be connected to uh, the seven deadly sins, to this maybe a wake-up call, to the choices that you're making, and to uh, how those will change and renew you. Because uh, it's saying turn to your higher power at this point. Uh, this is a question about spirituality, about your um, true uh, commitment to God, to uh, as above, so below, as this teacher is pointing. The advice is for maybe you to get a teacher or to uh, connect with someone around whatever this is uh, that you are using your gifts and talents and healing. And so let's get some clarity on these cards for my Aquarius. And why is it that um, the King of Wands is here? As how you see the question, Aquarius, something fiery. It could be involving an Aries. Um, but it's about um, having a vision and having this energy to go after it, feeling very charismatic about an entrepreneurial project. And that's what the question's about, Aquarius. And you're saying, well, you've got this Knight of Wands. <clears throat> this is what helps or hurts this king. Well, the king um, needs his um, emissary, needs that momentum, needs the one who goes uh, courageously out into battle for whatever this is you're, uh, you're going to take a leadership on, Aquarius. And you're, it's coming in fast with a lot of energy, a lot of um, almost like a daredevil. Um, that could maybe be challenging uh, your leadership capacity. So look at kind of how you are presenting yourself, how you carry your energy, um, that energy of sexuality, of, of drive, of um, just going after whatever you want. And be careful with that because this involves at the very foundation a union, a partnership, a deep love, a coming together together because you've got the alchemy card, it could be saying alchemizing that sacred marriage within yourself, and you've got the high priest, uh, such as the hierophant, um, which is saying that you are maybe joining in a spiritual initiation with yourself after having gone through uh, some very deep change, something ended, um, something that had been in your life for a while that was very important to you, but you knew it was coming to an end, but you just didn't know how. It was something about this um, divine partnership, your twin flame, somebody that you felt very connected to um, at some level, like a soul um, mate. And uh, the five of wands is here. Um, there has been maybe around this energy, around your leadership capacity with this new passion, there could be some quarreling, some fighting, some competition that you're feeling, um, and how to take this successfully forward. But you're gonna use that leadership capacity, but you've gotta watch out for energy that gets um, with setbacks or just fighting just because you have this energetic conflict because the Knight of Wands it's got the six of wands. Wow, well, you've got a progression from the five uh, to the six, a lot of fire, a lot of movement towards success with this momentum of the um, night because you're going after something um, very uh, charismatically, uh, very cocky, very energetic. Uh, things are very um, energetically attractive. And you have to watch out for the competition or how you might be um, fighting with others, getting into little arguments. 
because the Two of Cups at the foundation is saying you've got the Queen of Wands. Well, there is more a fire coming for my uh, air sign, Aquarius. This is now you've got the King um, of Wands and the Queen and the Knight. So you've got the whole a royal court here uh, coming in for you, Aquarius. So, uh, what are you going to do uh, with all this fire? What are you going to do when it's up to you to take this passion and, and move forward uh, with this night, with this success, with this recognition? Uh, you're uh, moving forward with a following. And that c competition, of at least what you might think of as some kind of fighting within your own mind energetically, uh, but you don't realize that you're going to be very successful. Keep going. And the Queen of Wands is at the foundation saying there's something about this uh, partnership, this love that involves uh, an energy of attractiveness, beauty, sensuality, uh, deep intuition, psychic abilities, the ability to go forward with a passion and not even know um, how you're going to get it, but just to know you'll receive that, that alliance with uh, as above. Uh, she is very connected to both those deep inner knowing and to um, use her wand to go after magically what she wants. And then something recently happened with this card of death and ending. Something <clears throat> came to completion. What is this? For my Aquarius, what came to completion recently? What do you need to know about this ending? Uh, the hangman. Well, it was something sacrificed in the recent past, a letting go. Um, uh, a release, a having to be, uh, maybe in the recent past, you were um, having to face this ending, and it took a long time. It should have ended maybe earlier, but you couldn't let go of it. Um, there was something that you were very attached to, and when this ended, it, it was um, a final, and it's going to lead to a rebirth with this, this temperance um, card. Uh, is here, you're alchemizing, you're blending different aspects of yourself. Uh, maybe you've seen this ending in a new perspective recently. Whatever has come to an end, Aquarius, you're having to see this anew, because you see the hangman is looking toward death, toward the future, toward a new beginning. Because of the Seven of Cups, well, you've got that twice. There was... Um, Something to do in this alchemical process of transmuting uh, those energies of, of um, depression, of loss, of lack, of sadness, disappointment, anxiety, uh, of being caught up in mental um, illusions that keep us entrapped in toxicity. And it keeps us from blending and becoming that true um, rainbow, that hope. And you've got a choice to be made. Uh, right now about moving forward about completing this about a reconciliation um, with because you've got a lot of people in terms of uh, that are involved with this the queen of wands the king and the knight a lot of air and fire <clears throat> and this judgment is coming because of the seven of swords well a lot of sevens you're coming to some spiritual awakening or understanding or knowledge of um, how these uh, choices you've made in your life, Aquarius, have led to certain situations. And now you're wanting your choices to be aligned with a new value system of one that's connected to um, higher wisdom, how, higher knowledge, the understanding of philosophical and spiritual reality and how to bring that into those choices that you're making. And the Seven of Swords is saying, well, you know, there could be some something sneaky, something lying, stealing, and cheating that is you're waking up, you're having a judgment call on that. You're saying, I don't really, I want to end this. I'm dying to that old way. And I'm seeing it clearly now from a new perspective. And 
I'm going to have to look at my own behavior where I have uh, manipulated, cheated um, someone, uh, been deceptive, <clears throat> um, use my own, um, this is a card of Aquarius, uh, using my own wits, my own intelligence to uh, get things to work out in my way or as a defensive move uh, to, because I can't confront this judgment face on. I can't just come out of my dead state. I have to maybe um, present it in a certain way, um, maybe lie a little bit about it or be dis, uh, a kind of strategic, use a certain tactics because the star is here, you're healing. After this, uh, you've got the rainbow, it's coming. And it's, uh, it's coming with um, this other sense of what it is, Aquarius. How are you seeing the star? And the connection with the star to that um, entrepreneurial, a uh, passionate, fiery energy that goes after what you want with the leadership. It's coming because of the empress. Well, you're taking on um, that role of, of, of productivity, of growth, of creativity. And that creativity, and using your talents and gifts is going to be a powerful and very potent a combination for my Aquariuses, especially now that um, as Pluto comes into our sign for the next, um, I think it's like 40 years. So there's something that's coming that is about this gift of giving and receiving love, but also growing and being very abundant and dealing with the competition, uh, dealing with conflict. Uh, energetics and schedules and uh, things are picking up quickly because your success is coming in fast <clears throat> and uh, you got this empress here saying that's how you're thinking about this you're seeing your own um, a beauty your own creativity how much you've grown uh, how much you're able to nurture this project and Something in your environment or how you're being influenced by the environment or people around you is very heavy. A deep responsibility that you're ready to come to the end of, this burden with others. Uh, and it's coming because of judgment again. Aquarius, there's judgment twice here. What's coming now and is coming from the environment at some level. Maybe someone in your environment felt like they were carrying a heavy burden, maybe a moral a burden of some secret or some, uh, something that has been difficult uh, that you were shouldering <clears throat> energetically or something you knew about that you had to wake up to. And it's coming because you come into your own truth, your own uh, vision, your own healing. And you're healing and becoming very nurturing of yourself and le learning to give and receive love, to give and receive this inspiring information. And um, the Seven of Cups is here because of the Nine of uh, Wands. Wow. Well, there is a lot of fire. There's a lot of, um, uh, it's hot. <laughs> things are, are cooking. Uh, things are burning. <laughs> Because you have been uh, standing your ground in this battle, maybe for whatever this King of Wands was for you, is for you. You could be the King of Wands, whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, genders are fluid, but you've been taking this entrepreneurial idea out there. And you face the conflict. You face your own inner doubt. Um, and the challenge, or what really helps this, is success is a following, is people recognizing you, being in the limelight, a moving forward on your high horse, being triumphant, keeping on going. You're just at this one phase of success. You've got to move on. And um, there is this sense of the queen of wands, something uh, energetically passionate about this partnership. And you're looking to them. You're using your uh, psychic abilities to go after this with confidence. And something ended recently, and you saw this ending. You're seeing it from a new perspective. 
and that is going to bring some kind of healing and it might have taken quite a long time for this whatever is in the past that died and uh <clears throat> ending of a relationship the ending of a situation and now you're healing and you're sacrificing it so you can make a different choice it's more in alignment with your true values now and it's going to heal you and bring out that hope of the rainbow and also uh, <clears throat> it's using all of those aspects of yourself the things that you thought were worthless now you're bringing them in and alchemizing them and you're seeing wow well i have something here with this entrepreneurial idea and it's going to be golden and i am going to transform and uh, come to this divine union within myself and with others but what's happening now is a wake-up call to any area of your life where you've been lying stealing and cheating any kind of deception any kind of uh, trickery uh, any kind of a way of where um, maybe you've had to uh, in the recent uh, <clears throat> moment right now uh, in this present um, with the power of the present here you've used your intuition with a lot of intelligence to know what to say and what not to say when to go in and when to hold back uh, with your communication, with your action. And you are uh, going to wake up to this because you're seeing it anew with healing, with hope, with renewal. And this is going to lead to a lot of abundance and productivity and feeling like uh, you're whole, you're uh, <clears throat> creative, you're beautiful, you're bountiful. And the environment has been holding this uh, someone in your um, situation has been carrying a heavy burden. And because I see that you see the um, a judgment card holds this wand, it's like one of the wands that you've been holding, you're recognizing, you're waking up to how heavy this obligation was. You're waking up to a truth about this burden, about a responsibility that in um, that you were very resilient you went through the fire for this you fought the good fight uh, you kept enduring and making these choices now is that's what's coming you're hoping that you don't have to be defensive in the choices you make that you don't have to get beaten up if you make the wrong choice or the right choice because the choice is really coming from a praying from introspection from tuning into a higher guidance system and that is coming because uh, the Hierophant is here because why is that uh, for my Aquarius why is the Hierophant uh, here for you because of the magician well you're gonna turn to that um, deep spiritual awareness that connection to your source um, as above, so below. Joining your spiritual and ego uh, personalities to make um, a transformation and make magic. You're making magic with the Holy Spirit, with God. God is now the magician, and you are the vessel for that uh, creation that's coming. And you're here in the star, and you've been here uh, in the morning star, Aquarius. And this is a powerful, a transformative a reading of this is life changing, a re life renewal. And uh, that's what I have for you. And if you like the way I read, please subscribe and uh, let me know how this is unfolding. This a powerful ending where you have your magician meeting with that higher font, with that sacred teacher. And you're going to make something magic. You're going to bring your teaching, uh, this mystery, uh, down so people can ex um, have access to it, uh, Aquarius. And you have been healing and blending and alchemizing yourself to prepare uh, to be this magician. And that's what I have for you. And so it is, the star. Um, 
And you know I love you, Aquarius, and we're in this interconnected field, the sacred space, where this reading, um, this divination is occurring. Um, it's right now for you. And I hope this resonates. And take this powerful, there's a lot of major arcana energy. So that's saying that it's happening at a very uh, psychic level, at a very uh, life-transforming um, level for you. And it's coming with the morning star. See you next time. Bye-bye.